Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play by me, in Game of Woof 6 of Rome 2 Total War. Truth be told, I've had to start this Let's Play three times. Once because I, on the next turn, I selected my second largest army and told them to come back to... Press the control Here. and S key simultaneously. And here's the thing. Plan, move this guy over here because those guys are getting rebellious. And I tell this guy, go here. You think you go that way, but no, for some reason he's like, no, how about we go around the entirety of the Mediterranean? That was the first time. The second time, I can't remember exactly what happened, but I was like, oh right. It was, hey, this seems loud, and I checked, and I forgot that I redid my computer because Asus messed up the first time around, so then I ha had to do that stuff to make sure that, uh, you know, the audio is correct and stuff like that. And then, the third time, same thing, clicked here, he decided to go west, throughout several, or eventually would go throughout several territories, pissing everyone off, and then eventually get here instead of, I don't know, taking one turn to go straight over there, you seasick bastard. So let's see, if I have three things, it's this, this, and this. This for science and to redu reduce corruption. This because money, or maybe it was these because money. And then that, because happiness, or we could always change it, you know? Let's at least have that for now. We do have quite a bit of food, as you can see. If we can get people happy, then that would make everything sappy, mappy, drappy, kebappy. Oh, we can't make it a civil thingy? Damned. Also, I'm thinking we'll change this into the thing that does the missiles, right? That's people with arrows and swords, and that's people with artillery. We want the artillery, but maybe not right now. We'd get the food stuff, but then that food stuff would make people unhappy. So, which one of these is better? I see, creates food but makes people unhappy. 10% uh, wealth from agriculture, or 10% wealth from agriculture, more money. I guess that one would be better because less unhappiness, more money, and we don't really care about the food. Because once we got this much, it's like, pfft, whatever. Can we have some wine? Yeah, I make the jokes. I'm a funny guy. Yeah, might as well make sure. Gravitas is the accumulated popularity and standing of a character in the Roman world. It gradually increases or decreases over time through military victories, crushing defeats, and his actions during missions, or as... Yeah, okay. Sounds good. I wonder if there's naval battles in Warhammer. At least the first one. I haven't actually played the second My one. My lord offers you peace. Tomorrow, his preoccupation with this war may see him unleash further torments. No, thank you. While I am suppressing the, maybe not your people, but the people of your... Every army, fleet, or agent thing. can reveal information about rival armies, fleets, and settlements in their immediate proximity or within their line of sight. The level of detail available depends on the... Obedience to the rule of your faction is measured in public order. If unhappiness outweighs happiness and is left unchecked for a long time, it can lead to rebellion. Keep taxes at reasonable levels. Maintain sufficient food... Why is everyone unhappy? Hmm. That's weird. But uh, maybe we should put the food and games over here because those people are losing their heckin' minds. And it'd be kinda nice to, uh, you know, 
stuff. Wait, you guys had that? When did that happen? Well, it's in the same area. Oh wait, we never did do that. Maybe it was construction? No, those things don't make people unhappy. Yeah. You guys are happy. You guys are unhappy, and I don't think there's anything that makes you happy. Oh, there is that. I guess we could do that to try and quell people's being angry at me because they're all jerks. Why don't people like being conquered? It's like, you take their lands, you take their money, you take their buildings, you and maybe not enslave their people, but force them to, like, deal in your ways, and all of a sudden, everybody's just really pissed off. Maybe we could get more dudes. Can you guys, uh, no? Okay. Oh, maybe it was fall that made people happy or unhappy. We'll do a quick save. Where do you want to ask Carthage to go away? Well, it looks like they're coming towards us. Because I looked at the map before and they were up here, but now they're down here. But today, I am... Fine. If we must talk, at least be about it quickly. Eh. I don't want to be friends with people who I might, you know, attack or trade or stuff. I mean, they're far enough away that it would take me a while to go at them, but close enough that I feel like, yeah, they might sail a big army at me and try and attack me, so... You guys do you. Okay, those guys are happy. Those guys are happy. So what's your thing? Bay off the temple. Yeah, I'll punch it myself. Ready for oh, good thing he's ready for battle, woo. So, you guys are gonna get that thing, you guys are gonna get that thing, and then maybe we can move some guys around, you know? Can I get... some dudes here? No? Okay, we'll just... Do things in these other places that get food, yeah? And cash. Maybe it just expanded too quickly, you know? Or maybe that guy was pirating and that's making everybody angry in the area. If a faction's initial offer or demand isn't quite what you had in mind, you can use the counter-offer option to enable further negotiation to take place, rather than simply rejecting it. He does have a point there. He has money, and then I could focus exclusively on Carthage, and in a couple of turns just go at them, brah. Sure. I'll just wait several turns. Cool. 
cultural influence by stuffing my mouth full of beans and riding around drunkenly at night. Sounds aight. Oh, okay. Well, that's one less guy I have to worry about. So, how about them next? They're all owned by the someone else, so there isn't much I can do about that. Oh, that doesn't make people unhappy? Okay, that sounds good. I like that. Anybody else wants to do things? Do you want that? So hold the phone. Wait, not that place. It's this place, right? So we have that. Why did we do that? Oh, it's right there. Wait, right where? Okay, so in this area. Uh, makes sense, I guess. Yes. Anything else we can do? Let's see. If we're going to go to war, eventually, go to war with them. Who are these guys? Like, I can understand these guys being, you know, Northern African y, but these guys seem a bit too Northern Mediterranean. You know? Like, Greekish? Though, I have to admit, my knowledge of... Uh, heritage? Or, what is it? Race? Race of people during Romantic times in the Mediterranean is a bit rusty, you know? Uh, do we have to worry about that? Well, all I can think is maybe I need quite a bit of cash. It seems a bit early for the game to be like, hey, there's going to be a civil war, you know? So, go fuck yourself. Hey, what, in two years I, we went from one small place called Roma to, like, owning the entire boot and then then some? So how about you guys get off my fucking back? I don't like how they do that sometimes, where they just go right up at you at, at a nearly defenseless area, and then... I like that they usually don't do anything, but then it's like, hmm. To maintain control of your faction, you must secure the other party's loyalty to your cause. Each party's loyalty... How much does that cost? Yeah, quite a bit. So can we start sending people to other places? Yeah, they can do that for a bit. You must rest a while. You just kind of sit right there, okay? Whoever you are. Oh, right. The cash. It'd be nice if we could, uh, you know... Why are you guys unhappy? You guys are so unhappy. What's with that unhappiness? Cultural differences. And then political instability, and then taxes, and then slaves.
Oh, that does the trade thing too. Unhappiness, unhappiness, and unhappiness. But that doesn't do unhappiness, so that's good. I guess we need to do war stuff. And I really hate how this game's very uh, politically. Because I always hate having to stop doing video game stuff to do, you know, other video game stuff. So, do some of that for a while. Is there anything that keeps people from being jerks in politics? Political incident occurrence, but that's not politics. Okay. Set up a blockade. It is an honor to serve it's blocked with a blockade. Also, who are we at war with? Carthage. Is Carthage here? Because that down there is red too. Oh, why are you guys 15? Well, something happened. No, no! Fuck. Every now and then my computer- you probably heard my computer do that, hey, something disconnected, but it- it-, it that's happened like twice before. Hopefully I'm not in a first person shooter when that happens. Yeah, go up in that direction, yeah? Nah. Retreat! Drop anchor. Can we load a save? What happens if we quick save and then be like, hey, do a thing? Oh, I didn't mean to click that one. Well, maybe we can do well. I have no idea what these guys do. And I'm completely unprepared for this sea battle, whoa. The radar map allows an aerial view of the battle detailing the position of your units or ships and those enemies that are visible, and also topography to assist in planning an attack. Orders can also be given from the radar map. Well, we'll do that to try and bunch them up a bit. Jupiter gives us strength! Mars, aid us! At your command, support ships. Jupiter gives us strength. Crude and ready. Glory to Rome! Moving out! Proud Romans all! Our general is under attack! To the oars! At your command, support ships. Brave Romans to our support man. Support ships ready! Actually, uh, do that stuff, please. One of our ships is on fire. Well, tough shit. Our general has fallen. What? Okay. Uh, fuck that. Sh like that doesn't seem okay. We are doing really well, but hold the phone. We. Oh, what was that general doing? Did he fall off his ship? I'm calling bullshit on that. We had them. 
And then for some reason, the general w was, even though he's clad in armor, somehow he got hit. I'm calling a mulligan for that. He, he's the general. I don't, how did he die? Oh, and I don't want him to die because he's my faction leader and I don't want that to happen. Cause that's gonna make the game a lot harder. You know? Probably. Cause if my faction leader dies, then we don't have as much gravitas and shit gets real. The review panel contains the unit or ship cards representing your full. Oh great, one of our ships is on fire. The men are wavering. When did they get fire? Are they dead? Oh, there. They jump ship. Our general is under attack. Ready. Support ships ready. Jupiter gives us strength. At your command. Support ships. Assault ships ready to attack! Support ships ready! Support ships ready and waiting! Brave Romans! An entire unit has perished! Come on! At your command! Support ships! By your command! Support ships ready and waiting! General! Support ships at your command! Hey! You! Do a thing! Yo, turn around, turn around, turn around. Can somebody move? What are you doing? An entire unit has perished. Fuck that guy over there. Well, at least my commander didn't, you know, just somehow die, he, even though he's like one dude on a ship full of dudes and he's probably the most highly armored dude. What the hell? What was that? Yes, yeah, slaves. Priestess of Weaving? Okay. How bad? Risk is 15. Okay. Might do a safety save and be like, hey, if shit gets real real, then we really, really need to uh, do stuff. Wow, those guys don't really move too far. You guys, here please. Ship 
der Punkt. Let's do that, and then some of this. Oh wait, we already have that. And some of this. So we can make it the people happy. And happy people get to do things. Like stuff. Hmm. Yeah, some more of that. How would you get off the ships just in case that place is attacked? You know? Oh, great. They made a new army. I should probably see if this game saves at the beginning of the turn or at the end of the turn. Or both. Cool. So, who died? Okay, guy have somewhere else. No politics. They're unhappy, but what are you gonna do? Can we see where they are? No. It's the colored ones. That didn't particularly sound right. So wait, he's in charge of the ship? What about my guy? Oh, that is my guy. Oh, who are you? You're in charge of that thing. Cursus Honorum are the offices and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is an honor to serve Rome. Serve these nuts. Am I right? Whoa. It is an honor to serve Rome. Put your backs yes. into it, you of course men. It's barred. Fleet's report. Bar. None shall pass. Can we uh, do this without losing lots of dudes? Alright. Is the guy happy since, uh, not since he won a battle? Nice. So, uh, where's. Oh, they're over there. And they're over there. Uh, how about we not go to war with you? Well. Hmm. Client state. Oh, well, maybe we could go at these horse dudes for like a turn or couple. Pleasantries be cursed. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're near the end of the turn, so we should probably uh, do this stuff. Welcome. I throw open the doors to you. And okay. You would not. Why do you change that? Well met, friend. Sit. What is oof? No, thank you. What is up with your hat? You have hats Greetings. like those Japanese guys in the uh, Rise of the Samurai, I'd aka really weird. Enter, friend, and speak. We surely have no temple can stand upon just two. No temple can stand upon things. Standing upon things is weird. Yeah, yeah, you should probably be there for a bit. Um, farming market. It's a farmer's market. And you guys go back over that way. I guess we should do a little bit of a uh, politicking. So, does it? Melee units, though you don't really need that, but whatever. Moral and security. And that's security. Burbs. That's research rate. Authority, authority. Public order. You do that. Who's this guy over here? You are... A dude. I guess I could do it this way. 
order for military presence. Moral for all units. Moral morale. Ah, right. That stuff. Uh, keep as is. Research rate when faction wide. Sounds good. We just, uh. Yeah, boy. Oh, uh, hmm. I don't exactly know what a support ship would be. Missile attack range for all ships. That sounds good. He's hunger for battle woo. Okay, I want you to sail. So you're good at mathematics, so we made you a spy? How does that work? Oh. Like, I can understand, hey, these people move faster over land because raisins, but I don't understand how it's like, well, then why don't you go around the entirety of the Mediterranean? Or the half of it, at least. Makes no feckin' sense. You know, at least people are happy. So, we'll go for the money stuff. Why this place can't get any bigger? Well, anyways, that's the, gonna be the end of this. Let's play some comment. Guys, I like comments. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube and would like to see it go woo woo, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos to help it go woo woo. And please remember to spay and or neuter woo you animal woos to help control the pet population. And until next time, let's play Animal 6 of Rome 2 Total War. See ya.